guys, something amazing that I'm really, really proud of is that I am two years sober. Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and today I thought I'd talk a bit about sobriety and what I mean when I say sober. To anyone who's new, hi, I'm Lydia, I'm 23 years old, I'm currently impatient for my mental health. Two years ago, I was addicted to cocaine. Two years ago, I used drugs for the last time, and that's something that I'm super proud of and honestly, I... If I hadn't stopped, I'm not sure I'd be sat here today because it would probably would have killed me. The lifestyle I was living would have, would have killed me. So I did. I got sober because I was troubled by countless people. If I didn't stop, I was going to be dead. And despite everything, the idea of death it does scare me. The permanence of it scares me which is why it was my motivation for getting sober another big thing for me when i got when i got sober is i i got out the environment i was in i was not living with the right people i was living with someone who dealt the, the substance who worked for people who dealt the substance who wanted to get me selling the substance it just wasn't a healthy environment it wasn't a good environment for me sobriety hasn't been the hardest of journeys but it hasn't been the easiest it hasn't been the hardest because i just don't hang around with people so i'm not exposed to it as much however it's a quick story time on in my first year it London uni I worked in a group and while we was filming while we was filming they, they got high and I was I was so triggered but I didn't give in I didn't use anything I didn't use that night and I, that was a big moment for me because at that point I was still I was still heavily involved in, in the youth. I, I still had my own supplier at the time but I started to want to get sober so not giving in and using that night was a big win for me. So what does sobriety mean for me? One, I'm no longer on drugs. Two, I'm clear minded. I'm aware of my actions. I'm a nicer person to be around. And five, I'm not breaking the law. But personally, it means, it means I can go a day without thinking, oh, I need to stop here so I can use this. I need to do this. I need to do this so I can use. I need to do this so I can use. It's not pinpointing my day around this one action. Freedom to be able to say, hey, I'm sober. And here's my here's my tracker. The app I use is called I Am Sober. And it's a great app, not only for like drug addiction, alcohol, but for self-harm, for suicide, for all sorts of things. The hard part about being sober is not engaging in things that will lead to that use. So for me that's clubbing. Clubbing is something that started my use. Drinking alcohol, again another big trigger. It just as soon as I drink I don't stop drinking and in a way you could say I was addicted to, to alcohol as well which I, which I was. I used to drink every day and I'm not talking about just a glass of wine I'm talking bottles, uh, palm bottles of alcohol. I haven't drank for a long time as well. I don't drink alcohol anymore. To say I'm sober it means so much to me and to say that I'm now two years sober, two years of sobriety, that's a big deal and I'm gonna give myself a little pat on the back because it's been a journey I haven't shared, I haven't really documented it. Do I still get urges to use? Yeah, of course I do. I'm human. Will I ever give in to them urges? I hope not. I hope I don't ever give in to them urges again. But yeah, blanket statement of the video. Two years sober. That's all I really wanted to talk about today. If you're new, subscribe. I make videos fairly regularly. I'm getting back into it. As you can see, I'm still impatient, so videos aren't regular. But I try and upload at least once a week. Keep you guys updated and in the loop of what's going on. Yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.